Hello and welcome to WoW's Operation Replays. Today we have significant or er, singularity invader <clears throat> in his mines on Operation Defensive Newport. Now his teammates are Chikaku, Nagato, Hood, Tone, Talon, and another mines. Now he sent this to me because I had a very special post put up on the forums on if you're able, if you manage to kill. Well, uh, Yamato or Musashi all by yourself to send the replay to me because I would very much like to see it. Now, right off the bat, we know he has survivability expert and Gucci Luncheons. And he's running flags just because. As you know, I don't usually recommend running flags, but that's his choice. We'll see how he does. Now the bots have basically spawned on the 1-2 line, they're going to spawn on the 4 line next, and then the 7 line. So it's going to be an easy spawn prediction for the team this time. So let's see how they do. Now I love that the hood is kind of pushing out. We'll see how long he lasts, though. This is, this is also part of it. it has a lot of belt armor on it. So, we'll see how he does. We'll watch him closely. Doesn't look like Singularity is going to be as super aggressive as we see Deathwing and myself be. But, we'll see how that comes into play later. Well, he does have a one, maybe two fires on that Aoba. The tone is also shooting it. I remember at 150 shell hits, his reload buff for Luchens goes off. So we'll see how that goes. Now he does pick up the Aoba, so kudos to that. AP into the side, does pick up the Kuma, and should still be able to Citadel the Furutaka real easily. Switches back to you, the Yubari. That, yep, picks up that kill. Now he should pick up the Furutaka. Yep, picks up, and picks up Natural Selection, too. So, still a pretty good achievement right off the bat. So, good job on the natural selection. Enemy forces before the principal attack is launched and secure the carrier's retreat to the base. Now, he's about halfway to Luchus. So, kudos to him. The bad news is, look where the hood is. That's, well, he says fastest natural selection. I would call that one of the fastest I've seen. It's one of the lowest damage ones I've seen, but it's still a natural selection on the first wave. Still counts. Still pretty fast. Although that hood, uh, let's see how his health is doing. Okay, the hood is still fairly full health, but let's see how long he lasts. Yeah, they are kind of like saying Gamma, that which who's, who's the hood is like, not a good spot. They're saying bot. Could be a bot player. I don't know. He does get a very beautiful hit on the Congo, though. Very beautiful hit. Nice. He did a good drive-by on it. Took, like, like half its health, the way it looks like. I can't tell how much health he lost, though. I think he's about two-thirds. About... Uh, yeah, I think he's almost... Yeah, he's dead. So, they're down one battleship. They only have one battleship left. gonna be a tough match that hurts that really does hurt losing the hood right there because hoods an amazing ship Enemy 
Now, as you all know, I am more aggressive on my ops, for sure. And I don't like to sit in the base. I really don't. I just don't like it because I've done it at tier six and it makes it much more harder these days. Especially since you're on a timer that the longer it takes you to get these ships down, that third wave will spawn. And you could be in a very bad spot and you can still be working on this, but they're doing a pretty good job on this wave. Like, a really good job. Now, Singularity does need to pull back more because he's in a good spot for sh shelling him, but eventually they get to that point where his shells don't do. And there goes Lucian. So it goes from about like a 6.1 to a 5. Six, so about 5.5 seconds, not a much, not a lot, but it does add up. Aoba's getting really close for comfort, in my opinion. Really close. Let's see how, how the Aoba's health is. Okay, Aoba's almost gone, so we don't have to worry about that. The Ford will kill it. I hope the Ford kills it. I'm glad that the CV is going in on the... Well, the battleship. And didn't go for the weak health one. I expected the fort to pick up the Aoba, so that's nothing normal on that. Now, if both mine just can get into a good position to just keep shelling this third wave down, they can make it. The bad news is we don't, they're, they're already at the halfway point. And that's not the greatest, especially when that fort is taking a lot of damage. That one, the singularity is passing. When that fort is full of health, the Musashi takes longer to get it down. Which means if he's focused on that port, he ain't shooting you. So we'll see how that comes into effect later. Now their mines, I'm 95% sure, does not have uh, Luchin. So we'll see how that works out. But I am, at, at the rate that this is going, I am, I feel like they will cross the line. I don't feel like enough damage is being put out, personally speaking, but we'll see. But I don't, I feel like they may cross the line. This is Base Commander. All batteries restored successfully. Support ship returning to base. And the uh, north battery is taking a lot of fire. It's going to go down. Really losing that hood really came back to haunt them. It really did. I, yeah, they're going to cross the line. I'm 95% sure of it. They're just not putting out the DPM to really get that kill. Those kills. Even though these are mines. That's why I always 95% recommend playing super aggressive. But we'll see how he does. It could change. It could change. They do, the town gets lucky. Blows up that. They've got to get that one good salvo. And that Ayoba goes down. He's only going to get one salvo into that. He's got to make it a pure citadel hit. Oh, that's a citadel. But... But it does close. Uh, oh, it just barely gets across. The Z looks like he's gonna sneak across because you see 
how most of the team has kind of just kind of retreated back slowly. Yeah, there's nothing he can do. It was going really well. But as you saw, a lot of the team just kind of, well, he just kind of went from that side and just kind of, you know, wiggled over to the other side when there was really no point. So right now we've got Kitakaze. So we've got on the starting from the left to the right, we've got a Buki Ganizen now Hipper. Z23, Yamato, and a Kitakaze. And then we've got Nagato, Rune, and a um, Megami. That's the other one. So we've got a lot of ships out there. So we're going to see how this goes. And Eric, how did the hood die? No torpedo awareness, suicide, he's a bot. Bot. Interesting, that's him. I don't know if that was a bot, though. I'm skeptical. Just report. Oh. I wouldn't call it worthy of a report. I wouldn't because it just doesn't seem worth it to me. A singularity is gonna get more of his um, health back. And he's telling his team to fall back, which, yes and no, kinda works. I personally continue to keep fighting just because. Because you risk, if you fall back at the very be at the end like that, you're gonna lose more stars. I mean, you're gonna lose. Probably at least the three ships, and then all of the support. You're gonna at least two more stars, so you're looking at at a minimum like one star, two stars. Not great. That's why this op. I truly believe that this op favors pure aggressive gameplay style. Uh, if just two or three ships go pure aggressive mode. This stuff goes from being really hard to being very easy. And we lose the mines there. Where did he go? Out. Oh, I see where he went down. Out. That's unfortunate. I really needed that mine. Let's see how this goes. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. But his damage is up to 8 kills. Well, he's going to cross... He's going to at least cross 400 shell hits. 18 fires, 8 kills. Very respectable. I'm curious to see how it ends, though. Now, he did send this to me and, you know, kill the Yamato slash Musashi. But I'm curious to see how that's going to happen. Because from where I stand, he has four ships he's got to go through to get to the Yamato. You destroyed an enemy cruiser. Then there's the fact that he's got a Rune and a Kitakaze and a Megami bearing down on him. Yep, there goes these installations. I knew that would happen. So right now we're down to three stars. And I predict someone's gonna, someone else is gonna go down. I just don't know who's gonna go down. Um, 
Just pick up the DD. We sunk an enemy destroyer. The ship is on fire. Problem solved, sir. Battle that kid is gonna go minutes. straight in and kill the repair ship. So he's gonna be out hell. There's Torp coming in from the Kitakaze and I believe the rune. He does kill it before the it gets his torps off. His repair ship's going down. They lost both repair ships. So no repairs no more. So he has to work on what he has left. There's still three people alive though. Let's see how healthy is Nagato. Nagato's still pretty healthy. The Shikaku can be safe if Oh, he took a hit from there. He's taking a lot of damage. More damage than I would like. Oof. Enemy destroyer sunk. Boof, ba boof, ba boof. Shoot the gunizer now, shoot the gunizer now. Shoot the gunizer now! Okay, he, Rune goes down, Kaku goes down, and they do lose that last star. I knew that would happen. I just was hoping it wouldn't happen. The bad news is, they've only got one, rep one facility left, and they've got to hold out. That's the last one left. That thing dies, uh, it's game over. Fortunately, it's we're in a weird spot where the Ganazanov just can't shoot it. He's at 13 kills. That's very impressive. Despite for pulling out a one star. Actually, we're at two stars, actually. Sorry, two stars. That's still very respectable. So let's look at the, the ship tally. He's got, oh, wow. Wow, wow, and wow. Okay, so, hmm. He is the last one alive. I at least thought someone would still be alive. Someone on his team. I didn't think he'd get all the damage on the Yamato. How is Yamato doing? Uh, he's still pretty full of health. He's only going to get one good torp drop on this Nagato. Then he's screwed. The Mahan's taking pretty good damage. Those two, the torps all clear the island, so great, great. Those torps do look good on the Nagato, though. Really look good on it, from what I can tell. Might be a little short, but it looks like most of them were hit. And what do we get? What do we get? Oh, he picks up Ray and sinks the Nagato. Okay. So kudos to that. Kudos to Ray and 14 kills. Good news is Nagato the Yamato's not looking at him. The bad news is he really doesn't have much health left. Even to take the secondaries. Not a complete, like, full health kill, but that's pretty damn full health to me. Let's see how much damage he gets. It is turning the guns on him, though. The ship is on fire. Looks like the DD's gonna get some torps on him. Okay, so 15 kills, and we end up with 451k. Not a complete Yamato kill, but still a damn good attempt. But really great as far as all the kills go. Very impressive. That was a that was a carry.